Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make this helicopter's animation. It's quite simple and easy. Just follow me. Let's go. We need some free assets from the marketplace. Search Apache Apache Longbow. As you can see, this is a project. Add to project. Click Show All Projects. My project version is 5.1. Don't select version 5.1. You should select 4.27 because it's the Apache version. And now you can add to your project. I already have it, so I click cancel. Let's click the free mega skins. You will see a lot of trees. We can use this tree. It says European Beach. Add to your project. And I already have it, so I don't add. All right, now we uh, open the project. Let's click File new level we select basic and create content vigilant content and vehicles you can see the vast tally eh64 delta and we will use this one right click on the blueprints and duplicate one in case we modify this and it cannot turn back you can change the name as you like but uh, in this case we don't change it. Drag this into our scene and press the keyboard E to rotate it. All right, next uh, let's make some trees. Okay, now we found the European beach here. Geometry, pivot painter. Let's drag some tree here. Okay, it's so one tree. One tree is not enough. Let's drag some more trees let's try it what it looks like this tree is too tall let's get it lower and you hold the alt and click and drag it duplicate one all right the helicopter is reading up and ready to shoot because uh, the helicopter is powerful stream these trees should swing we should control the wind of these trees so if you want to control the wind you should find the photo named ms presence and we click the filter find the blueprints blueprint class and we'll hit it we use this ue5 version we drag it into our scene. It controls all the wind of the mega scan trees. Let's see the details. Wind noise, wind strength, wind speed. All right. Uh, let's see the parameter. 22, 3.3, 4.5, 0.5. Next, we will make the animation of this helicopter. First, let's add a new sequencer click here add level sequence rename it heli now drag this helicopter's blueprint into our sequencer press this track to add scalator mesh okay you have this scalator mesh also add the track now add this animation instance next we hit the 30 fps show time as seconds and this animation should last uh, 20 seconds we input 20 here drag this red line to 20 and drag this to zero helicopter should rise from here to here start to fire first we drag helicopter down here let's click track and transform to add the transform now we hit here add a new key at the current time now we drag this line to 3 minutes and next we drag the helicopter to here. Remember to select the auto keyframe. It will save you a lot of time. Okay, you will see the helicopter is riding up. And next 
we drag this line to 3.1 seconds and hit the keyframe and now to 4 minutes we rotate the helicopter a little bit it seems ready to fire okay next we will make the rotator move like it uh, flying we click the animation instance to find the main rotor speed here main rotor speed now we drag this line to zero to hit it 1000 and drag it to 20 million yes a million sorry I, I, I forgot to add the keyframe here it's 1000 let's add a keyframe here and 20 1 million click here and simulate it is working the same let's add the tail rotator tail ro rotator speed is 1000 at the first and at the last we gave it 1 million it is working when the helicopter is posing like this it's uh, ready to fire we make the gun to rotate also we add the gun elevation and its angle we add a keyframe here and add a keyframe here now hit the simulate and rotate like this all right next we'll make it fire we select the blueprint and click the track here to add the machine gun fx we see the track here we start the fire here click the track and find the FX system toggle track. Let's deactivate it. Add a keyframe here, and here we activate it. Alright, looks great. Next, we will make the helicopter fly like rail because uh, it's not stable. We find the transform here and hit the E on the keyboard and, and move it. And rotate it a little bit and add a keyframe here let's expand this and hit the rotate can apparently you can separate to adjust the rotate the row and pitch and the yawn Now it looks like it's flying like a rail because we do it all in the simulation so in case it's not work it's not saved press K in your keyboard K remember it's K it means keep press K and stop simulation all right now this uh, background is too simple let's do a little complex thing if you want find the mega scans at the Iceland collections and Nordic coast collections into your scene I already have it so I'm ready to edit remember when you add it to your content you can see it nowhere but in the maps maps and assembly packed we will add some cliffs. You can see it's all level. Don't worry. You can see the collider here. You can open the collider to see what it really looks like. You can, you can see the cliff L means large cliff L packed. Yes, drag it into your scene. Let's click on the level instance and make it bigger. Let's scale it to five yeah, it's quite big now you can see the ugly black shadow on the rock now we can enter the command here yeah it's gone if you don't solve the problem like me and try another command here mm. 
Yeah, now it's gone. Now let's back to the tree photo and add some foliage here. It doesn't matter, it's just uh, background. At last, we create a camera here. We add the camera transform here. And when this goes up, we follow the helicopter to go up and go in. Rise up, rise up. Let's start the simulation and lock the camera. We click here and press the play. Okay, seems good. And we want to make it more realistic. Visual effects with we add post process volume here. Let's see the details. Drag it and check the infinite extent and global animation we select lumen reflections lumen you can use the ray traced if you have a powerful graphic card you can use the ray traced you can compare with lumen and the ray traced which is better and you chose that one and global we adjust the color Saturation, downgrade the saturation and the contrast. Gamma, okay. Press the play. At last, we change the light to make some more shadows. All right, let's try it again. All right, let's see. Okay, that's uh, today's tutorial. If you like, be sure to subscribe and give me a like. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye.